But instead, they're oh, going to catch Jerix here on the side. Good telekinesis that will be able to stall things up with cold feet proc hits. And that'll be your first blood. Febby takes it in the end. Oh, they're just very gonna likely dive. picked up bottom. So they're, they're going to rotate instead into top lane where mind control should be picked off. Lead with the stun. Follow up. QO hits his follow up stun. And they even had the cold feet still. You can see the bottom lane axe. They tried to go on him, but it looks like Rev did manage to dodge a little bit. But now he goes headlong into him. They've got the tornado. EMP goes out, managed oh, to get the Kuro. Kuro on the Kuro, bringing him lower and lower. Chop goes, but for Rev doesn't get the extra movement speed as he misses out on the cooling blade. And he's coming in behind them here mid. Yeah, this actually could be a bit of a sandwich tornado. EMP goes off. Jarek's completely out of everything. Does manage to get the faithful off onto Dubu first. So support for support, but this does cost cost Fada. His exorcism is going to catch him, up though. the MP Spirit Siphon. It just rips him asunder. Now Ferev, he's going to be up next. No more exorcism though, but they do have the block out of the trees. And Ferev chopped out those trees. Won't be able to do it. Didn't have his Iron Talon. Fada playing so well in this game. Here we go. Looks like Dubu going to be spotted out by the Primal Roar. Should be able to get oh, the kill. So the Force Staff save comes in. Now the Ice Blast turn around. Jerex, he's going to get popped. Febby. Picks up the killing spree. QO, though, again caught out in the top lane. Silenced up. Oh, no. QO. It's happening too often now. But Tama Man had managed to slow down the retreat of the rest of MVP Phoenix. But the Axe turnaround managed to at least take away the Aegis and stall up the push forward by Liquid. That's a great. As they try and grab some more heroes. Great pickoff for Liquid there. Good decision making on Axe part. Doing something before he dies at least. But how do they react to this? Axe's buyback. Slaughter does not. Axe is going to have the buyback here and make a big play to defend this tier 3 tower if they want to be able to keep their racks alive, and I'm sure they Get do. Get the speed of this push. Silence already. On to Dubu. MP looks for the opening. Has to hit the right tornado. They managed to get the call on to Fada with a blade mail activated. Looks like Fada is going to be going down. A nice ice blast. It still manages to clip even through the cyclone. A tornado comes through, and Fada will be chopped down. Matumba Man still pushing forward. Managed to catch Fevy, but can't quite finish him off. And the cold feet will actually stun him while Fred, he sees that sitting duck, and he's just going to bide his time. Oh, he knows go he can kite these two. He can jump in with the fresh blade mail. The chop, go for Kuro. He's got a triple kill already. Give him the ultra for Ev. He's got the mana for it too. Kuro, he's just looking to be able to catch MP, but it's not going to happen. For Ev actually just gives the kill over as MP takes it instead. You MVP won. Phoenix hold. Man, that was so impressive. Axe just got the perfect playoff. MP made it happen as well as he set up the kill in the Death Prophet. Uh, BKB on Fada, of course, the Blink Dagger <laughs> just recently picked up by Kuro. Those are some very significant upgrades. Is it enough, though, to actually beat MVP Phoenix in a five-man? I think MVP still have the stronger five-man for fighting. It's just the A ulti can do so much. It stops the Spirit Siphon. Oh, the uh -oh. rats. Oh, they're definitely getting ratted out. They're going to lose the Ranger at top lane in the Tier 3. Already down. The Ice Blast is going to be able to clip one, but it's just going to be too late. The Exorcism is shredding the Thoraxes, and they can even leave just the Boars as well as the Necronomicon to almost finish this one up. Fada turns around, managed to get the Silence in. And P, he's going to be targeted, actually gets swapped in. Dubu sacrifices his life in order to save the mid. But now Fada's going to be able to catch oh, so much more as Febby. He's going to go down as well. Immediate buyback and Matumba Man. Two lanes of Rax. QO coming in from behind. Mike controls the target. It looks to be able to get the call, will be able to catch him. My control goes down, but Liquid still looking healthy enough to be able to They're fight this one if they want to. Fada leads with the Yules. Follow up silence, will be able to get the veil out. Tornado they actually should back landing out. on Jerex. MVP Phoenix. Big strategy of them Q for the longest time has been movement. Oh, they're going to be able to find Fada here. Might just be able to pop him real quickly, too. Yeah. No chance Three in hits. hell. I still think when Death Prophet is up, they should start going for more five manning. Because that's where MVP is struggling right now. Oh, the jump in. QO going to be the target here. The swap back out. Dubu almost managed to escape from a Tumba Man. Goes for the chase still, but QO is actually going to be the target. They bring him back down the cliff with the Telkinesis. So the first half comes through, but it's not quite enough. MVP Phoenix now look for the next one as they try and get out with MP. Jarex chasing running the running so form. fast with the Ghost Walk. Deafening Blast pushback. MP gets himself a little bit of space. Is it going to be enough, though? Blink as another Rubik. invoke. He has a four staff oh, in three seconds. Them. Make sure he, if you get mega creeps as liquid, oh, they're going top. Yeah, they're actually going to be able to lead four things staff. off with a right click of mind control, but a four staff puts a stop to that one. Now QO pops his DKB, but the primal roar is the response. Now an ice blast is going to come in to swap out. QO is going to have to bet, head back. Matumba Man looking to be able to slow him down, but not enough for the BKB. For Rev instead is going to be the lucky prize here for Liquid as they jump in, find their initiation. Results in a kill on the axe. They're going to look up next for Ev with a buyback. Managed to grab Matumba Man. Hopes to be able to bring him back into the base for one of his teammates to be able to follow that up. That's just not the case. 
Oh, to the tower ready now. Ready to go. Cold snap. A little bit more. Jump in. Q well managed to get a two man stun. Finishes off Curl. Now the call. Actually managed to get both. Oh, no. no. That's going to be three down. And Liquid jumping with the rest of their course. But Matumba Man, he popped the BKB in last second. That's not going to be good. Fada is left alone. Matumba Man's just about to come back up. But the Ice Blast should be enough for them to be able to quickly finish up Fada with the Ice Blast. Liquid, they're full on committing for this one. But they have to get out. If they lose too many heroes, this could be the turnaround. A Sprout controlling up. Kill up with the save! For him! Gets the call on two! Gets the dunk on one! And Matumba Man will end up going down to the right click. Oh, MVP boy. Phoenix! Liquid! Have they just thrown away the advantage the in this game? The on the Fury. I'm gonna try and hit this choke point, it looks like. Not running away, but actively trying to fight MVP Phoenix. Their lead initiation on it for it. But QO, he's on the open up with Tommy Man, and he exploded! MVP Phoenix, now they're gonna look for more. The swap out on Fada! That stops the CP at the last half second, and now they pursue. Amplified damage, QO, he just wants to be able to get into range of the sun. He's got it too. Dooku follow up the magic missile. Bye bye, Fada. He puts the Yule Zephyr. That's only gonna buy him a second or two. He'll still go down. Spirit Siphon not going to be enough. Two heroes down. No buyback. 70 seconds on the clock yeah. for the Death Prophet. And there's even backdoor regen, so trying to do some backdoor damage here. Not going to be possible. Rain Track is going to be fine. damage on ulti. Jerix. Yeah, the ultimate managed to help. Whoa! Not even the Sun Strike's going to finish him off. Just a straight up bash. We'll claim that kill. Look at Mind Control, though. He's been sitting on the side of this base the whole entire time. Going to try for it now. Not worrying necessarily about kills. You out. Uh, actually, he's going to go back to the jungle here. Spots out. Curl gets the stun, backs away. Doesn't want to risk it. Now the boots of travel two oh, on the QO. Two. Now they can make that kind of play, but already to blink away. Dodging the ice blast, but Fred is able to catch up. The Chivas goes down. Primal Roar for the stun. They manage to catch Curl. Should be able to stun him up. Mike, don't protect him with the sprout. Now the force that four QO gets the kill, but at what a cost. He's already down to half HP. Volker and BKB about okay. to run out. He wants to use this Aegis, and he will oblige Liquid. Take him out. Fought in the positioning. They sprout out MP, blocking QO's retreat as well. He can't go anywhere. He's stuck inside. The swap goes down, but Dubu, or staffed away, will be able to survive. But it's MP who gets caught by the telekinesis. He's trying to run himself away with Ghost Walk and will be able to get some distance. But Curl, he jumps forward, catches Dubu, swap back. QO is going to be hit by that one. Nice steal from Jerex. Straight into the homing missile. QO now has to man fight up against Matumba Man, but doesn't have a prayer with four others surrounding Matu. Massive making sure wins. they win it. Might get jumped here. He's going to be able to spot him out. Ice Blast over the top. Is he going to be able to go straight for Fada, actually, as they know Jerex is definitely dead. Tries to make what do, but it's not going to happen. Matumba Man now pops BKB, fights up against Vareb. Turn around, amp damage. QO knows he can't take that fight. They have the Force Dash swap back out. Dupa Miner saved the Ancient Apparition, but it's QO who's more in trouble. Controlled by the Primal Roar, but it's not enough. They can not finish him off. Vareb, half HP, trying to challenge Liquid, realizes that's not a good idea. And the Cold Feet. Oh, they're actually going to try and go back into this one. Are you serious? Yes, Lorda goes in. in. He sees Curl. Wants to be able to pop him real quickly. For us, going to be able to get the call on the two. Oh, the the Shavas, chop one. Goes for Fada, but the Yule Scepter save. Back for him. He might be able to live through this. Oh my god, Fada. He's going to go down. The head over the top and Liquid. They crumble like paper and have to retreat behind the base. MP, he looks for that extra kill, but can't find it. Last buyback this time around. QO, they've seen him. Duo. Gonna have to make a fast blink. He's actually gonna try and jump on Amatu, forces the BKB. Now has to retreat, sprint on cooldown for 30 seconds. And now he's gonna be telekinesis up into the homing missile. Forced to pop his BKB, now gets the sprint. Boots of travel, level two. Gets the call on a Jerex. That's gonna be the one, but they've already managed to kill the Ancient Apparition. Matu goes down as well. He's down for 90. Oh man, they only get the AA there. Look at Dubo just sneaking. Placing down two wards, he knows vision is everything. This fight, oh, swap. he sees a swap. Oh, he managed to get the swap on a Matumba Man. They get the call to follow up, and Matumba Man, he just ends up dying just like that. He has a buyback here, and he's gonna wait for his opportunity. Throws it down now. Melee Rax is up. QO gonna pop his BKB. Turns around, doesn't actually look to kill Fada. Now the Fada's a bit separated. They'll go for him now, but the swap out from Jerex. What a good save. He managed to get the first half away from QO as well. Now Fada pops the exorcism, but they have to stop MVP Phoenix's retreat. They have to actually be able to fight this and win this fight. Looks like they're going to be able to get Fred. MP runs himself away. Oh, Looks like chasing. MVP Phoenix as a whole are now going to turn around. They have the buyback. Mike controls the target. Jumps in with the Sheevas as well. Oh, They've come a Tumba Man. Oh boy, Matu. He explodes with a Sun Strike and a chop for Fred. Ice Blast hits on and blows up one. They have the Yule Scepter there, but it's not going to be enough. Fred on the front lines will end up going down to Mike Control, but they have to manage to take out the Death Prophet. The buyback goes out. 
Range racks, next target for MVP Phoenix. Jared jumps in, tries to stop that Lincolns. They will open up the blood floor, and that's gonna be enough to actually kill MP. Oh, barely. we got him. Now Febby. Oh, barely managed to live through that one. QO, also a sliver of HP. So close to being brought down to Fury. He's being in behind them as well. He's oh, looking they're for gonna try and sandwich heroes. this one. They're gonna try and sandwich these heroes while they're still low, but the heart, it's racking in for QO. He's already at half HP. If they could get the Invoker. Swap in, gonna be able to catch him. BKB are dirty, activated. Fada goes for the Ancient Apparition, will be able to get him another swap out from Jerex. Draws some time with the Ghost Scepter, and bides, bides, bides. Telekinesis is gonna be able to hit on QO. Maybe that Disable actually wins it for Mind Control. He's manning up with the Blood Thorn. He gets the kill! Downy Flash gonna be too late. Mind Control dies, but maybe with the buyback. Liquid, Jerex, he's just trying to buy time. He needs five more seconds until Beastmaster's up. 35 for uh, Matu, that's not gonna be enough. MVP, they see their opening, they see they're going to be able to just straight up take Megas and end this game. MVP, are they doing it finally after their long struggle going for this? Unbelievable MVP Phoenix up against two lane racks advantage, up against a Fury at that. Kuro, he tries to go for it. Oh, don't tell me. It's going to be a base race, ladies and gentlemen. Kuro trying to finish off that pillar, not going to be fast enough. MP gets a TP back, forced to throw out the Primal Roar, but Kuro in the end still has to retreat, and that now means tier four down. MVP Phoenix. Man, MVP do not want to stop. They're like, okay, let's go now. When we know buybacks are down, there's not going to be anyone coming back. If we kill them once, they're going to be gone. Yeah, 40 seconds still left on the Death Prophet. MVP Phoenix have now managed to force this. They're going to try and go for some sort of hot TP in play, perhaps, and go for another base race. Uh, the but creeps MVP are just Phoenix. too far away from the base, though. They have to defend this one. Yeah, I think it's just going to be too much. They're going to be able to get the call on the Liquid. But oh, Tumbleman, yes. he's going to be blown up once again. He's done for all the way into the throne. Doesn't <laughs> matter. Burning Bush be damned for him. Takes it all. And MVP Phoenix looked for those kills. Now turn back the Tier 4's Lackerty up. And there it goes. They're taking it. The throne's going to explode just like that. MVP Phoenix, they're taking the very last fight, evening up the kills, and they end it. They take it! Two lane racks advantage with the Nature's Prophet on Liquid and MVP Phoenix still come through! The miracle in Manila! 2-0 looking great in the lower in the group stage and just coming back here. Liquid said they were confident against them. Can you ever be confident going up against MVP? Unbelievable. On a land? They're trying to get him. Fabi already dropped low enough. One more hit, they got the first blood. Team Liquid. Finally punish MVP Phoenix for that dual aggro just in time before the Lich starts getting out of control. Slow this hero down quite a bit. Oh, they're actually fighting on top of Oh, Mind wow, control. QO, he's going to be able to get the chains. Fada's going to be able to come in, hits the sun. No, actually, the silence comes down. Mind Control dropping lower and lower. QO trying to catch oh, up. Gets go. a little bit more burn damage, and they kill him in the end. The breathe fire a bit too late, and QO thinking about turning around as he they starts bottling it up. Tubu needs some help. They actually manage to right-click him down. Kuro's going to help out a little oh. bit more, get some more damage onto QO, but the chain. So chains. close to the Dragon Tail as well in the Ember there. That could have been a kill along with a... It seems he's going to be fine. won't take him out. Going to be fine, but has to back off. Now mid, Matumba Man has already jumped in. They're going to look at... Oh, they get off the Ravage. That's on two. Matumba Man, though, managed to get off the range, and his tanky is all hell. He's soaking up a lot of this damage, and they still haven't managed to finish him off. Oh, Meanwhile, the stop. kick comes through. Hits on three. Flame Draft goes through. They still can't finish off Matumba Man. Meanwhile, the Earth Spirit Ultimate Generous. is doing so much damage over time. MP is probably going to take out. It can't get the Infest in time. A roll forward. Doob is going to be the target. Manages to get off his ultimate. Stall things up. They get the dust, though. Jumps away to the Tide Hunter. Manages to evade, potentially, as the kick comes through. Another jump. Not going to be able to make it out. See Ice Flash over the top. Dubu dodges it. The dust is going to wear out soon. One more second. No, can't make it out. Oh, Double Kuo kill for Jerex. QO. He gets to roll in. Kuro's going to be the target. Manages to pick him up, but he's going to be slowed down. Jumps over just in time before the cold feet can proc. QO now has to run himself away. His Fada is too much to handle, but look at top lane. A tier two already down. Tier three being threatened. He has the Ravage, MVP going to start grouping back up together, but this time around there's the Aegis on Matumba Man. I don't think they want to take this one. Matumba Man's going to put himself on the front lines here, daring Liquid to try and ravage him while he has Four. an extra life. He still has the enrage. Actually, now smoked up. Forev now challenging the rest of Liquid while they are going to be able to take away that first life. Forev 
He popped the Ravage, doesn't Creating have space. much else, create a lot of space, sure, now they're gonna jump forward, they're actually separating the team from the rest of Matumba Man as QO tries to go for the Beastmaster, able to lock him down, but not enough to finish him off, Dragonite TPing away, TP's away. will be successful, Matumba Man trying to chase down the Watermelon forever, can't run fast enough, bring oh. around the Rose, he goes for the Trace, and he's out, Matumba Man dead, and MVP Phoenix look for more, Jerex oh, blocked no. down, TP away, not, no, oh, wow. barely in time, the Lich, his Nova oh. was just barely cooling off there, so close to getting that kill as well. He's sitting about 8,200 net worth, so he's kind of right there on Vada. that baseline. With the Shadow Blade, he's QO. Yeah, he can get this early Dragon Tail. Will be able to get the first right click. Ice Blast follow up, but the oh, Silence is going to be able to do a lot. And there it is, the jump away. Now the Ravage follow up. They're going to go on Jerex first. Manage to get the kick onto two. But still, they will manage to kill the Lich. Vada stuck inside the pit is actually doing a lot there, but unfortunately, QO is going to be able to jump in and finish him off with alongside the Tide Hunter. Or maybe not. QO gets a huge kick, and Vada stays alive with the help of the armlet. Now, finally, the Life Stealer comes back into play, targets the Ursa, but the Ursa just pops the Enrage, almost finishing off the Tide Hunter. And now it's Riki and Life Stealer duo up against four of, of Liquid. They will be able to go for Vada here. Another armlet. Oh, they're just another ganging attempt up to be able to stay alive, but can't quite make it. Liquid outside the pit, trying to slow down the tight under. Nice silence kick combination and another ice back. Able to finish him off. That just leaves the life stealer. Rage TP out, trying to right click him down, but will be able to just barely survive. Wow. Tick. Oh. He lives. MVP drawing a nice line if they go along this. Could be great for them. Yeah, this Ravage initiation could be big. Dubu, he's going to be able to see the ancient oh apparition. Boy. There man, Ravage. The follow up smoke screen as well as controlling so much of Lake Wind. And they, they are going to take out. it on three. But Tumba Man, he needs to be able to get out of here, but he's probably going to get controlled up. And this is the Aegis as well. He could probably just die twice as a big bash comes out from the Life Stealer. But Tumba Man, Can you ain't going blink? nowhere. Let's see if he can manage to get the nope. blink out. Not in time. I like how Liquid have five wards down right now. They're actually just stockpiled up and put down a ton of wards. Uh oh, this, this is vision is up. They're waiting for uh, Febby to get over here, but now the initiation is going to come from Liquid just at the right time. Oh, the smoke screen is going to be able to stall things up, but they do manage to get the stun out. Now the Ravage hits onto three. They're going to try and pop the Tumble Man before he gets off the Enrage, but just barely in time. Now the Ice Blast comes in, managed to clip the Life Stealer. That's going to be the next big target, but QO, he's already taken out one, and Fada can't keep up with the Life Stealer. That SNY managing to get him the distance. They're going to turn, take out the Ancient Apparition. It's tanky Fada right in the middle of everyone, Ice coming in. but he's just not outputting enough damage. Now the Life Stealer turns, pops the Rage, and eats through the Dragonite. Armor be damned, they get that kill. Oh, they just died out to the base, Capitalist. This is going to be really painful. MVP Phoenix, they do not have the greatest high ground heroes in the world, but it doesn't matter when you win a fight right outside those tier threes and have over 30 seconds on the clock to be able to beat on Barracks. And there's not a single buyback in the side of Liquid. And they have a lot of damage. They have two healthy cores here. Found duration there. How does this guy keep on doing so damn well on a Lich of all heroes? So even if they don't have Ravage. Maybe. Maybe this is the one time. Oh, oh. Blinking in. Blink in. Four staff out. Taunting them. Febby just getting a bit of information about the Roshan and how low it is now. Jump in here for the Tide Hunter. He's going to draw some attention. Ancient Apparition is already going down. He managed to get off the Enrage ahead of the Smoke Scream of Tumba Man. Rapidly running out of time. It gets bashed up. Now, again, the Chain Frost bouncing around. They will be able to surround Fada, the tankiest hero in the game, but it just doesn't matter. Up against the five of MVP Phoenix. They'll take another winning team fight and take a Roshan for themselves. The this first is, one of the game. This is really what I'm worried about when they started buying this Hearts. It's not working in any of the team fights. Yes, you live for a long time, but your team doesn't. And then you're alone, you're fat, but you're gonna be killed. I mean, there are even issues of if the silence isn't enough, Jerex, uh, unlikely to be able to roll a rake here. Tries to go for the kick, but tricks of the trade. Finish them off, and that's gonna be Gem on the deck as well. But part of the problem is, is oh. it's not just the, the, the silence, but also the misfrit. They just get destroyed by Tide Hunter. Oh, Fada actually comes in. Ravage Andrew goes out. They manage to catch Fada as well. Mind Control on the back, who's going to be the target MP. Manages to bash him down immediately. Now turns back to Fada as Matamba Man tries to get some damage out. Realizes it's going to be futile and runs back to the base underneath the cover of what was once a tier three. Not so much anymore. The four staffs come forward. Ice Blast does land pretty good. good ice Matamba blasts. Man challenges MP. They're trying to finish him up with the Infest. 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 Infest with a blink out. He manages to make the escape rope away. And Ferev gonna be the next target. But he's so damn tanky. He's got so much armor. Oh my god! 
That slide of fist did so much damage, already taken out one, and Fada, again, surrounded by so many heroes, time after time, the heart just doesn't mean a damn if you're left by yourself. Buyback start coming through for Team Liquid. But, but they don't mean much. AA and QO, anymore. he stops stalling up one bit, the rollout ledge! Ooh, close. Jerex on 22 HP, dice. oh my god! Matumba Man finds that one, MVP. Might still be able to get the melee racks though. The smoke screen goes out. MP just going all in for this melee racks. Now turns on to Matumba Man, leaving him for next as he's a dessert on the table. Fada, the big meaty boy, Liquid, are gonna lose game number one as they call it GG MVP Phoenix. They seem unstoppable. They gain a little bit of steam and they just grow it and grow it. In a very dominant fashion, just taking down this first game in the best of three series. And Liquid, they say they 